In this question, there are two circuits. The first one is what an electrician should have done. Now, if you're a good electrician, you should have done this wiring. But, of course, people make mistakes. So, what the electrician accidentally did is reverse the connections down here and you get this messed up circuit and your light bulb does not light up anymore. This one on the end here is the light bulb right here next to me. So, you will need new switch positions that would light the lamp. Now, you really don't have to worry too much about the first one because that's what it should be. And the one down here is what you want to pay attention. How would you light the lamp? You see, the thing is, for the lamp to even work in the first place, you need current to flow through it. Current will only flow in a closed loop. You must have a complete circuit. That's what we call a closed loop or closed circuit. So you need to see, okay, from power supply, I flow down. Let's say this is the positive end. Then I come to here. Hmm, maybe I go here, follow, follow, follow. Uh-oh, I get a dead end. So that's a problem. You have reached a dead end, so your switch is not going to light up. Sorry, your light bulb is not going to light up. So what you need to do, though, is make this connection right here. So move that switch down. Then you can go through the bulb and, yes, back to the supply. So that's one way. You have now a complete loop that current can flow, a closed loop. So what should the switch position be? First one that maybe you should have is Z1 to X1. So let's see our choices. X1, Z1. Okay, so that's these two. Pos potentially correct. X1 to Y1. Okay, that may be another choice. We'll see later. Then from the other junction, you need to connect Z2 and X2. That's either this or this. So the best choice is D. That's what you have if you, have, if you want a current to flow in a complete loop. Now, one question I have is, Miss, what if instead of changing this switch position, I change this other switch position? What if I say my current is, well, let's use this as highlighter as current. Current comes down here. Maybe I want to change this switch position instead. Z1 to Y1. Is there such a choice? Look at the choice. Z1, Y1. No such choice. Whoa. So, uh, cat, I don't think you can do that. Uh, what if you say you want to change to this switch? Then you're already at a dead end. What are you doing? Your current can't flow through if you switch this position over. So, no, you can't use the other way. So that leaves us with the only possible path to way to complete the whole circuit. This kind of like playing a game. Join the dots. Okay, connect this, flip the switch down, and you will have a complete circuit. Now, if you're curious what happened to the original circuit, you can take a look right here. So what happens here is uh, repair, wait, where was we light up? Two switches, okay. So normally what you should have here is the supply comes in, but current comes in. When you turn it on, I mean you can either turn on on this side or turn on on this side, both will work. So maybe I hit this switch, tap, then I can light it up. Okay, or if... I want to change this switch instead. You hit the switch, then you can still light up the bulb. Now, this system is very common in household where you are, say, on a staircase. At the bottom of the stairs, you have one switch. Top of the stairs, you have one switch. Both switches can on or off the light, depending on who hit on, who hit off. So this is what we call a two-switch system. So bits of info to help you think about it. But yep, that's our circuit question. See you in the next one.